Hello and welcome back to Jody Lewis Creations. Um, in today's video, we're just going to continue to work on this waterfall folio journal. Um, I did keep working on it a little bit yesterday, or after the last video, that was yesterday. Um, and so today I am just going to work with it a little bit. I have, I have quite a bit to do today, and so I wanted to just work on this for a few minutes, show you where we are and go from there. I love this piece. I think this piece came out great. These are the Tim Holtz, um, um, oh my goodness, Jody. Tim Holtz wildflower die cuts. And um, I just cut out of this paper pad some flowers and I just love how they came out. And I actually think that I may sit with the dies and scraps and um, cut some more. I love using these pieces. And I know that the main theme in this paper pad is like, more roses but I just I like the wildflowers I think they're beautiful and like this could be wildflowers so um this is what the piece I made for here so just a very simple again using more of the wildflowers and um a specimen tag and a Tim Holtz butterfly so that just slides in there and I just like how the colors complement and pull I mean that's the nice thing about working with the paper pad is that Obviously, it all complements because it's from the same paper pad. And um, fortunately, you know, with the Tim Holtz roses and everything, that is uh, lending itself with the colors as well. So I think it's it's coming along nicely. Um, I don't know what all will get done today. So I don't know how long today's video will be. But... I did want to share with you, like, I love this piece, and I was going to stitch around it, but I haven't yet. So this is a piece of coffee dyed paper, and I um, put napkin on just with glue sticks, so it's still rough on the top. There's not a glue layer on the top. And then I just put a little bit of sheet music down here because the napkin wasn't, the image was not as long as my paper. And then I took just some watered down black acrylic paint and gold acrylic paint and splattered, and I really, really like that effect. So hopefully you can see that. I did think about adding some trim or lace, and I did think I might I might still stitch around this. I think that would just be a nice touch. But anyway, I really like it. And then um, I think I showed you this, but I'm not sure. This is the envelope that I had in there, and um, I did just a little bit of gold gilding wax on here. I messed up on that little label, but I think it looks okay. I mean, it is what it is. And I folded a piece of coffee dyed paper in there. And again, this is a die cut, um, a die that I have. And I think, I don't remember the brand of it. But anyway, I took the, the glacier paste to that too. So I think we are here. And I had an idea for this, but I didn't prepare because I forgot until I started flipping and got to this page. I have large index cards that are coffee dyed and I thought that might be kind of fun in there as a piece and because this is so pretty, this piece can be a little bit more plain. I don't think it has to be like super embellished or whatever. Um, you know, and, and so I think maybe I'll do something with an index card there. This one, we need to make a tag for here. And like I had said, this pink is not from this pad. It was just laying on my desk, but I stuck it in there because I like that torn edge. And that was to remind me that I like that torn edge and to see what uh, we could come up with for that. So I don't know. I'm trying not to cut into pieces that, um, don't really need. I'm trying not to cut into more pieces. I'm trying to use up these scraps to the best of my ability. But I like this, and I like this. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of got that pink, almost, um, what do you want to call it? Kind of like a pink wash versus a white wash. Yeah, something like that. All right, so let's just get us a piece cut here. And I think I want to go out. I don't know how wide that is. So if I go like four and a half inches, that would be a pretty good size tag for in there. So let's go like four and a half inches. And I wasn't even thinking doing that because I just said I want to tear the bottom of that. So let's do that. 
we'll improvise here really quickly, right? I'm just gonna very gently tear this. Just cause I like that kind of that raggedy edge on there. It was kind of just fun. And look, I didn't even take that much of the pink wash off, so yay. I need to turn my overhead light on. Okay. Hopefully that'll help you see better. I'm sorry. So I have to chuckle. My husband. Okay, so I think I had told you guys that I was going to be switching craft rooms, right? I was going to be taking my son's room, putting him in here. Well, his furniture won't fit in here, so Mama's staying in here. And so we had gone and gotten a couple bookshelves, um, like, I don't know, a week or so ago. We found a couple on Marketplace and went and got them. Anyway, and so this morning, has, Hubby's like, I thought you said it was like a big emergency. You had to get these, like, you know. And I said, no, you told me to take my time and not force myself to put stuff in it until I really decide how I want to organize. Because what I have to do is just kind of go through everything and do, I want to make like an ephemera box. I saw Carrie the Crafter. I don't know if any of you have watched his videos, but he made like an ephemera box out of a shoe box. And I absolutely love it. It's a mixed media project, which, you know, I love. And anyway, it's really cool. But I thought if I did that, then I could have like a section for, you know, blank pieces or finished pieces that I can pull from when I'm working. And because I work in themes, I don't typically have a lot of finished pieces to pull from. But the idea is that, you know, like these tags I cut the other day, I could pop those in there versus having to get into the closet in the 12 by 12 bins all the time. Then I could put those upstairs in the attic and have other things in here that I work with. So it's kind of a daunting task actually to try to consider like what I want to do and how I want to make that work. So anyway, yeah. So anyway, moral of the story is my husband says I have too much stuff, right? You have too much stuff. You have too much stuff. As he goes to the post office this morning to mail something to one of our kids, and he calls me and says, there's an estate sale up the road. I said, okay, I'll change my shoes. I'll meet you there. He's like, okay. So we go to the estate sale. I'm like, he's such an enabler. <laughs> but I love him for it. He knows how much how I'd love to do it. So it's cute that he called, that he called me and said, there's an estate sale, which was kind of cool. We got some like small engine training manuals for the kids. So, he, cause he's been tinkering with stuff with his friends. And so I thought, well, that would be kind of cool. I kind of like that on there, but maybe not such a big piece. Maybe just go like this. Anyway, and um, so maybe, you know, those books will be useful. He can read them and, you know, help with his little, whatever he's doing with his friends. One of his friends races quads and uh, does pretty well actually. And so he's wanting to get into it. And I'm like, uh-uh, no, nope, not yet. Not right now. Just let's let's hold off on those kinds of events right now. Until some things change. <clears throat> so anyway, so got those for him. I got some Life magazines. And I'm really excited about those. They're not in super great shape. So I don't have any qualms whatsoever about cutting those babies up for the ads. So I'm really excited about that. I'm hoping it warms up some and I can go outside for a little bit today. I mean, it's nice right now, but it's breezy and it's only supposed to be like 50. So I have to go to Indiana over the weekend and it's supposed to be like 80 there. I said, oh my gosh, it's going to feel like 100 degrees to me with how cold it's been up here. But it'll be fun. I'm going to go see. I have to take care of some family stuff. And then I'm going to stay with my, I call her my not mom. She's not my mom, but she's my mom. And um, anyway, and then see my dear friend who I have not seen in way too long. And get to finally meet the baby. So I'm super excited about that. I say finally meet the baby and he's almost a year old. Like, it's crazy. Time goes so fast. All right, so I'm going to put that on there somehow. And we need some sort of embellishments. 
So what do we want to use on this? I don't want to use butterflies because we have butterflies. As I flip to the butterfly page in here, right? Mm, that's the wrong color and just too big. You know, that could be kind of cool. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Oh, I do like this flower. I've been trying to use that a few times. So maybe we'll do something with that one. So anyway, yeah, um, I hope everything goes well the week over the weekend. There's just a lot of stuff, you know, and sometimes family stuff isn't very fun. But it has to be done. So just send me good vibes and wish me luck. It's going to be fine. Going to be fine. Okay, so I'm kind of feeling like that's not tall enough. So that's kind of what I was digging around for. You know, something something like that would be kind of fun on there. Actually, I might just tuck that in a pocket somewhere. Okay. So anywho, that's about it for today. Oh, so I went to the estate sale. And what did I get? I got, oh, I got these really pretty embroidered napkins and um, a tablecloth for like four bucks. The tablecloth is stained, so I'm not really going to feel bad cutting it up. And, um, oh, there we go. Now that's better, huh? And what if we do like a label or some trim down here? Yeah. So anyway, I got a tablecloth and some napkins. They're in the washing machine right now. And I got just a 19... I don't remember what year the dictionary is. What year is it? Not that I needed another dictionary because uh, I have quite a few. But I like the feel of the pages. This has been wet, so I won't feel bad using it. 1965. But anyway, so that'll be fun to work with. And then I got this box of, these are like just blank cards. And look at that, the pink. That's going to go in here somewhere. Any of these could really because of the roses. That's not roses, but oh, the pansies. Beautiful, beautiful. But anyway, so maybe we'll stick one of those in here somewhere. Really, it was the box that got my attention because it's like a cigar box. Cigarette, so yeah, cigar box, but anyway, super cute. I love it. All right, so I think that was it. I got the Life magazines, got the dictionary, the cards. I think that was it, but anyway, didn't spend very much. I refrained from, there was a bunch of like, yeah, okay. My son's texting me, sorry. Um, there was a bunch of like 1920s, like faith-based books and stuff, which were kind of cool. Um, but I'm like, I need to be using the books that I have and they weren't such a good deal that I couldn't pass them up. So I refrained and I'm pretty proud of myself. But I, like I said, I do have to laugh because hubby is just too funny. I text my friend and I'm like, he's such an enabler. <laughs> but I'll keep him. He's a good one. I'll keep him. So anyway, yeah, so I think that's about it. I mean, not a whole lot new. I gave you guys the update on my back in the last video and, um, you know, even though it's not quite an answer like I thought it was going to be, I guess, I don't know. You just got to wrap your head around it. Like sometimes you think, oh my gosh, you know, like thought I was going to have an answer. I thought I would knew what was going to be going on. And even though I don't have a clear answer, I'm pretty sure that what that spine surgeon suggested is on the right track because I've been doing some, some stretching um, in accordance with what he told me he thinks that it probably is. And... Uh, I have not been crippled this week, so I don't know. I'm trying not to be too, too, um, mm, listen to your heart. Do I want that one? I like find joy in the ordinary. 
Try not to be too excited. You know, my husband's so cute. How do you feel today? How do you feel today? And I'm like, well, I overdid, you know, yesterday I overdid it and the day before because we were working in the yard. I told you guys that in the last video. And um, so I did overdo it and I was hurting yesterday, but not as bad as what I normally would have been. Now, if you don't know that trick, these are the, the, the what are these? I don't have the tag in anymore. Anyway, they're the Tim Holtz things, words. And sometimes I just think they're way too bulky. So I just get my fingernail in there in between the layers of the uh, cardboard, I guess. It's cardboard, chipboard, whatever. And um, what is he doing? I have roofers across the street and they are just, I don't know what they're doing. Anyway, so anyway, I just peel back the layers till it's kind of the thickness that I want. On some pieces, I don't mind it, but this is, I'm trying to keep the thickness of this journal down, you know? So just by taking those layers off, I still get that dimensional effect, but without as much bulk. So I like that. But anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I'm doing these stretches, and the stretches really, really, really make things mad. But, but... Like I said, I'm cautiously optimistic right now. So, but I am so, so, so grateful and thankful and super excited that I don't have to have surgery on my back. So that is just wonderful. I'm thrilled. I'm excited. I'm grateful. And um, that's not going to show up. Um, yeah, so... I appreciate the supportive comments and the kind comments I've gotten from some of you just over the course, you know, and, and understanding. So that's been really wonderful and I appreciate it very, very much. And I think just as a whole, when, you know, you have been in pain or whatever, it's hard sometimes for the people in your day-to-day -day life. They just don't understand because it's not something that they can see with their eyeballs. And, um, which I get, I mean, that's, that's not unreasonable. So, uh, yeah, but I have been very fortunate. My husband has been so good about being understanding and helpful and careful. Like, don't pick that up. Don't do that. You're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> Which, you know, hey, there's nothing wrong with him being protective. I appreciate it. All right. I'm just blabbing away today. I'm sorry, guys. I hope I'm not blabbing too much. I kind of like that. But, all right, let's see. What else? Ooh, a little piece of parchment under there might be kind of nice. Oh, you know what? Where's that piece? I was dyeing trim the other day, and I was spraying it on this parchment paper, and look how cool that color is. So I think I'm going to tear... piece of that off and use it because I'm liking that color for a pop of yellow in here I think that'd be really pretty and it breaks up that music paper yeah let's do it so I'm not gonna use that after all all right okay so the sun is shining today and I got to tell you guys, it wasn't shining yesterday. And I tell you, it makes such a big difference. Are you guys like that? Do you find that when the sun shines, you're just in a better place? Like, I know I am. A much better place. Okay. Glue stick. I need to get some more out. Oh, I was going to... I watched a show the other day. I was going to ask you guys if you've seen it, and I can't remember what the darn thing was called. So it doesn't matter, does it? Do you guys watch any good shows, any good series that you like to listen to, like when you're crafting or just a favorite show? We, um, we love Yellowstone. So we had started to watch 1883, but I didn't like it when we first started watching it. And so hubby's like, well, can we try to watch it again? And I'm like, fine. And I actually, I think because we're not watching it like right after Yellowstone or right with Yellowstone, I'm not minding 1883 as much as I 
was. So it's funny how that can work out. We're further into it this time too, but because last time I was like, I don't want to watch this, but it's all right. But we're always trying to find shows to watch that we both like. He likes a lot of sci-fi stuff and I, it's okay, but not my thing. And I, I'm less liking big long fight scenes and like the superhero movies and stuff, which I love superhero movies. Like I love them, but I get tired of the never ending fight scenes in them. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, get it over with already. <clears throat> Wonder if that's going to soak in too much. Guess we'll find out. So we're always looking for new stuff to watch. All right. I've got glue squishing out. Oh. Kid's texting me again. I've got to answer him before he freaks out on me. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. I don't mean freak out, but he's question marking me because I'm not answering him. <laughs> so I have to answer him. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. All right, all done. So that's drying. Oh, it's not all done. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I did not put journaling paper on there. That's okay. That is okay. You know what we're gonna do with it? We are gonna make it work. I am going to find my coffee dyed paper and just back it with something. How about just a piece of ledger paper? We'll just back it with that. Or we have that scrap we can use. Okay, we'll see which one of these is. Is that wide enough? Look at that, that'll work. Mm-hmm, that will work. Let's just go like this. And I realize I'm just blabbing away. This video is already like 20 minutes long. So, oops, that's all right. That's okay. And uh, so I'm just going to get this glued on the back here. I'll just use my glue stick, get my tears fixed here. And I don't mind that it's kind of rough looking, rustic looking, because the whole piece is kind of like that. Right, and um, so I'll get this glued down, and we have a little bit of extra there we can use on something. So I'll get that glued on the back of there, and then figure out what I'm gonna do um, for this belly band. And we are almost done with this, I think. Yay! All right, so I'll get that figured out and um, come back in the next video, and we'll just keep working on it. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And, you know, I don't ask, you know, for you to like and subscribe and all of that. But hubby says I need to start doing that. So periodically you may hear me ask you to hit the like button to go ahead and hit subscribe. And definitely leave me feedback. I love the interaction when you guys leave me comments. And it's just an opportunity to kind of get to know you and what you like. And what kind of content that I can provide that you would enjoy. So have a great day. Bye.